Oh, well, hello everyone. It's me, National Freak. I'm sure y'all can see that. So basically, I'm making this video to kind of show you, to talk about, oh my god, why am I talking like this? Why are we doing this? Let's just stop. Let's not do this. <laughs> Well, hello, I'm National Freak, and today we are here to talk about the top five most requested worlds for Kingdom Hearts 3. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this freaking list, because I'm sure you all are such so freaking delighted to hear about it, because I know I am. I'm wearing a v-neck shirt. Yeah. For number five, it's really talked about world, and I'm sure you all know what it is because it was recently acquired by Disney, and the movie just came out. It's Star Wars. This has been talked about a lot, but let's be honest people, Star Wars ain't coming to Kingdom Hearts 3. You know why? Because it doesn't fit. Can you imagine Sora fighting Darth Vader and having Luke as your freaking party member? I can't. So let's just leave Star Wars alone and not put it in Kingdom Hearts 3. You don't have to have it in there. It doesn't get a Match.com date or a Tinder swipe. That's, that's not how it works. Number four the most talked about world for Kingdom Hearts 3 is Marvel, because this was also recently acquired by Disney. People are like, oh, put Spider-Man in it, or put Wolverine in it. But no, that wouldn't work either, because you know why? Because Spider-Man and Wolverine don't fit in the universe either. Because why would you want to have freaking Captain America and Sora be like, let's go steal the keyhole when the White House, Sora. Actually, you know what? Throw Spider-Man in there. I think it'd be cool. It works for Civil War. <laughs> Number three, honestly, this one's my personal favorite, and I feel like it'd be the perfect match for Kingdom Hearts. And you know what? It's Wreck-It Ralph. And I feel like Wreck-It Ralph would work so well. I mean, come on. You're putting a video game movie in a video game. They do like 16-bit Sora like they did for the Game Boy Advance. He's running around the world with freaking Ralph at Ralph doing going to Asteroids and Frogger and freaking Mario Bros and Donkey Kong and Sonic. And I feel like if they don't do that, they're missing on a great opportunity. And I feel like they should throw it in some Kingdom Hearts game. And I don't know what. I'm messing with my hair and it looks like I have a bull cut. I mean, look at this. I mean, why? I'm just going to walk off the screen now. Number two, and now if you've seen any Did You Know Gaming about Kingdom Hearts or five fun facts about Kingdom Hearts, I'm sure you know about this little tidbit of information, but in the original Kingdom Hearts, Buzz and Woody were originally slated to be summons in the game. So what I and everyone else talks about is they really need to add Toy Story to this mix. Because I mean, they've been talking about they want to add Toy Story since Kingdom Hearts 1, and I can't blame them because Toy Story would be awesome. Running around as a miniature little Sora, maybe a little toy version of Sora, Donald, and Goofy, and have Woody or Buzz as your party member, or even both of them as your party member. You're running around, you're killing the freaking, maybe even like toy versions of Heartless, nobody's unversed. I don't even know what kind of freaking enemies they're going to have, probably just more Heartless like they always do, and they're going to add some dumb one on top. It, honestly, any Pixar movie I feel would work really great for Kingdom Hearts. I mean, all of them are cartoony and fun. But Square Enix and Disney, please, for the love of God, heed my warning and my threat. Don't add cars as your Pixar world. Don't put us through that pain. I can't. I can't. I couldn't do it. I can't handle a car. Sora, don't, don't do it. And number one, the most talked about, the most beloved, the most sung world that has been requested for Kingdom Hearts 3 is, drumroll please. That's enough. Frozen. I mean, come on, everyone wants freaking Anna and Elsa, they want to sing Let It Go, they want Sora to do another Atlantica world. I take that back, do not shoot me. They already announced Tangled, 
for Kingdom Hearts 3, so why not add the whole princess set into there, add Anna and Elsa. How this world would start is they'd start out, Sora would be like teleported into halfway through after Anna's already frozen the kingdom, he shows up in the middle of her ice house and she's like, who are you? Who are these creatures? And Sora's like, I'm Sora, I'm here to slay them and kill them. And she's like, okay, I'll join your party with my ice powers. And he's like, all right, let's get on it now, woohoo. But honestly, we're missing a really key world here, people. We're missing the most important world that nobody's talked about. Where's Princess and the Frog? Where's the final Disney princess, people? Where is it? Where is my frog companion? You know what y'all are? And this completes our top five list of the most talked about and requested worlds for Kingdom Hearts 3. And if you all disagree with me or hate me for saying anything I did, please leave a comment down below or tell me what your worlds you would like to see in this. Because I want to know what you want to say. Because of course if you don't like this video, you can also leave a dislike button that's on the bottom somewhere, either on this side or this side, because I don't know how my camera works. Or leave a like button, which would be even better because it means you love me and I love you too. And without further ado, Bye. Seriously, leave. Hello everyone, I'm National Freak, and today we're here to talk about the top five most requested worlds in for Kingdom Hearts 3. Not in, for Kingdom Hearts 3. Get it right.